Hey, it's Erin from One Stop Trail Shop, where we make preparing for the John Muir Trail simple as can be. All right, so today I've got the first gear review I've ever done. Actually, it's more of a food review. I discovered a backpacking food company called Heather's Choice, and I thought they sounded great because they're women-owned, they're made in the USA, they're competitively priced, which is hard to find for these smaller companies. And they also have vegan and gluten-free options, which it's a little harder to come by in the dehydrated food for backpacking. So I went online and ordered a couple of their best sellers and it came in this box and I was surprised by how small it is. So let me show you what I got. One of their best-selling breakfasts, blueberry cinnamon buckwheat breakfast. You can see the size of the bag is smaller than most backpacking meals. The other one I got was shepherd's pie. Also quite small. This is gonna make reaching in a lot easier and it kind of negates my trail name, Long Spoon. I had a really long spoon to reach down into the bottom of your, the rehydrated meal so you don't get your hand all dirty. But with these, you can just use a regular spoon. So they're small and they're really light. They're both only four ounces, and this is pretty standard among their meals. So they say it feeds one hungry person or two smaller appetites. That's very broad depending on this one hungry person, what their size is and how much they've done that day. But to break it down, their breakfasts run from about 400 to 500 calories, and their dinners run from about 450 to 550. Now that's for one serving. A lot of backpacking meals have two servings in, in a pouch. So the amount of calories per serving is pretty standard for most backpacking meals, but they definitely pack the protein in breakfasts and dinners. Their breakfasts run around 15 grams. This one has 13 grams of protein and their dinners are crazy protein filled. They're like 30 to 40, this one's 38 grams of protein. Now that's a lot of protein. So talking ingredients in general, if you're being simple like I am when I eat on trail, um, you're not eating the most healthy. It's more about convenience. Um, and that definitely goes for these backpacking meals. I've mostly eaten Mountain House, Backpacker's Pantry, and a little bit of Good To Go. And in a lot of those, they have seed oils and added sugar. Heather's Choice is using olive oil and organic ingredients, things like raw sugar to sweeten it up in this one, for example. Feel free to pause here and check out the ingredients or check out their website. I think because of their simpler ingredients, they do have a shorter shelf life, which shouldn't be a problem if you're just shopping for your backpacking trip. All right, time to boil some water. Shout out to my MSR Pocket Rocket 2 and my Optimus Crux Quick Boil Pot. Unpopular opinion, but I definitely prefer these to a jet boil. All right, it's been sitting about five minutes, so let's give it a try. So I've been eating this for a while now, super good flavor. It definitely has a little chia seed crunch, if you know what I'm talking about. Kind of like, um, kind of like poppy seeds. I was looking at the back and there's a decent amount of fat and sugar, which is great to get you going and keep you going. It's definitely a lot of volume. I don't eat a lot in the morning. I would probably eat this after hiking a couple miles and maybe my first big break or even potentially for lunch. This could be a good, a really good option. I haven't really come by good breakfast options that are rehydrated. It's usually kind of like some soggy eggs or overly sweet syrupy things. So this is just the right amount of sugar the flavor is there, it's not overpowering, and it's just got a lot of what you need, the protein, the sugar to give you that boost, the fat to keep you going. Yeah, and it's like 540 calories. That's, a, that's gonna keep you going for a long time. Protein, fiber, fat, sugar, it's hitting it all. Two thumbs up and a spoon. So compared to my normal breakfast of eggs and veggies, pretty hearty, that actually kept me full for even longer. It took me all the way through to a late lunch. I wasn't hiking, but it still kept me full for a really long time, all the way through until this dinner. 
Okay, so we're eating the shepherd's pie and the flavor is just, it's really good. I can't think of a, another backpacking meal that actually tastes like like a meal that I would have at someone's house and shepherd's pie, you know, this isn't far off from what shepherd's pie would actually look like. So flavor wise, super good. Doesn't have that weird, I don't know, just that weird backpacker meal they sometimes have. I did wait the full 20 minutes and some of the items are still a little, a little hard. I think it's corn and maybe the meat. So I'm eating this running the risk of maybe getting constipated from that. Definitely doesn't lack in volume. I was worried with the small bag, just at the end of the day, sometimes you just want to keep on putting food in your mouth because it's satisfying. And I thought maybe there wouldn't be that much volume, but there's definitely a lot of volume here. And like I said earlier, the calories on this one are 510, which you could definitely make up for by eating a lot throughout the day. And it definitely makes up for it in protein. There's 38 grams of protein in here. So I, have, I hope you have a good relationship with your tent mate because you know the protein farts. So this is the only one I've tried from them. It is a favorite on their website. So I'm home right now. I have real food in my fridge and I'm happy, I'm happy to be eating this. This totally tastes like a legit meal. I know I haven't been hiking all day with a lot of weight on my back, but I have had very little other food today. And normally I definitely get hangry around two. And today I've just been working on One Stop Trail Shop, of course. And this has kept me satisfied all day. I felt good. I'm definitely gonna be getting some of this for my next backpacking trip. And it's gonna be a lot easier for those longer stretches where you have to fit a lot in your bear can. These are like smaller than the pro packs that some companies make that are meant to be smaller. This is gonna be a game changer when it comes to fitting like a week in a bear can. Checking in next day, no constipation. I stayed full for the whole night after that meal. So I would definitely recommend Heather's Choice. One of my favorite parts is the size of the packages. It's just gonna help so much with packing. I had started doing this other thing where I would repackage it and I'm not gonna have to do that anymore. I would say the flavor for the dinner was great and the flavor for the breakfast was good. Heather's Choice is gonna be on the menu if you choose to resupply with One Stop Trail Shop for sure. Thanks for watching and let me know if you've had Heather's Choice or just what your favorite backpacking meals are. Good luck on your trip and reach out to me with any John Muir Trail questions.